Hi everyone, this is Bob with the Netscope team, and I'm so excited to introduce you to the Netscope One Enterprise Browser. Now the Netscope One Enterprise Browser enables seamless access for both unmanaged devices and even temporary workers as they access websites and applications. So without further ado, let's take a look at what the Netscope One Enterprise Browser looks like. Okay, so the first step is we need to provision users that are going to get access to the Enterprise Browser. So in the Netscope console, we're going to go to Security Cloud Platform and User Provisioning, a new option under Enterprise Browser. And it's as simple as inviting users. You can do an email invite that requests that they download the, and install the package. It integrates with your existing IDP. In this case, I have Okta. So it brings all of the users that I can go ahead and onboard here. You could deploy it as, an, as a you know, typical package like you do with your MDM solution. You might use uh, uh, Jamf. I'm here on, on my Mac. You can also do it on, on Windows, uh, Intune, et cetera, et cetera, SCCM. Um, but once the package is deployed, um, we'll show you that in just a moment, um, what you can also do is you can customize kind of the experience for the user. Uh, so if I go to the home page, there's this notion of a home page. So as the user uh, accesses the browser, uh, the first thing they're presented with is a home page. This is fully customizable. Uh, you can customize different home pages based on different users or groups. Uh, what applications do you want to give them access to and kind of put front and center um, as they're interacting with applications and, and, and websites. Um, so once we have the package deployed, um, the first step also is you can simply just look at the traffic that they're accessing, but we want to implement policies, don't we? So this is where policies come into play. And think of the Netscope One Enterprise Browser as another steering mechanism, if you will. So all of your existing real-time policies that are already in place in the Netscope uh, tenant for websites and, app and uh, applications are gonna be applicable uh, to the enterprise browser. But you can optionally also go in and create a new policy and you have the option to do an access method criteria. And this will basically lock in for this particular policy specific for users that have the enterprise browser. And then you can bring all the surrounding criteria uh, into that. Now, um, Netscope is also providing a new policy construct that is specific for enterprise browser use cases. And this is where you want to provide local browser controls. And specifically, uh, we're talking about being able to control copy, paste, and print. And so you can do this on a uh, you know, number of users, groups, uh, bring it into the different application or website categories, if you will. In this case, um, I don't want to allow pasting in any of the security sites, et cetera. So with those policies in place, let's see this in action. So I'm gonna switch over to an unmanaged device. There's no Netscope client deployed. Uh, this is a user, it could be a contractor, or again, like a temporary worker. And the user has basically already deployed the browser on their machine. Um, and it, in this case, it was an email invite. So the user opens up the browser and it's the Netscope Enterprise uh, browser. Now, if they click on the home page, uh, they're basically have access to the home page that has been configured for them for various applications. But you can also just give them access to anything that they want to access, but make sure you have controls in place. So let me give you some of those examples. Uh, I'm gonna go to a website like a uh, marijuana website, it's against policy. And this is just one of the existing policies that's already in place for the Netscope client and other steering options, but it's carried over to enterprise browser. And of course, we're gonna go ahead and warn the user and give them the option of what they wanna do. Uh, same thing for you know a gambling website, we're gonna force them to justify their actions. Um, we might also want to bring in uh, DLP, again, this is full support of all of the controls 
including something like DLP. But what I can also do is instead of DLP, just make it that local control as well. So if I go ahead and uh, open up this uh, source, source code here, and let's say we want to paste in that source code, you're going to see pasting has been disabled, right? This is a local control uh, on the up uh, on the top here. It's blocked by administrator policies. That's Cove Enterprise Browser. Um, so that's an example of that of that local control. Uh, let's also look at SaaS applications. Let, let's say it's DeepSeek, right? I have a company-wide policy where we want to block as soon as somebody tries to go in and access DeepSeek, uh, full user coaching. Uh, in this case, I'm going to enroll the user in security awareness training, right? So this is, again, uh, bringing all of these controls, all this user experience over to the unmanaged uh, device uh, world, if you will. I'm going to try to access this cloud storage application. I'm going to be redirected to a portal where I should be deploying uh, sanctioned uh, SaaS applications. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to access our sanctioned box account from this unmanaged device. And here the user has options to download data here, again, going through the Netscope 1 enterprise browser. And wow, what's this product roadmap? I'm going to go ahead and try to download that. And ultimately, unmanaged device restrictions, uh, also DLP, detecting that that is confidential data should not be going to an unmanaged device. So we're able to put those controls from the enterprise browser as well. Really, the user should just be downloading data like this bistro men menu, which is benign, and they're able to do that. So there you have it. That is the Netscope 1 Enterprise Browser. It's available now, and I'm uh, looking forward to hearing feedback from all of our customers. Thank you very much.